Tugazani, good day everyone, please welcome back. This is Gogo Mahaba again. Today I want us to talk about, um, you know, uh, 15 things which affect people who have the less sentience gift. 15 things which affect people who have the less sentience gift. But before we start, please let's welcome those who are new. If you are new, we welcome you and please remember to subscribe, like our page and hit the notification bell as well. This channel is not only for people who have spiritual gift. This is for everyone. Because as humans, we do have a body, we have a soul and we have a spirit as well. So when listening to what we are saying in this channel and watching our channel, you're going to learn a lot. Okay, now let's start. 15 things which affect people who have that sentience gift. The first one, you sense other people's emotions, feelings, and sicknesses. Yes, um, when you are around other people, you're going to sense their emotions. If I come next to you and I have a headache, it is going to affect you. You'll also have a headache. If you call me over the phone and, you know, my blood pressure at that time is very high, Yes, my emotions are going to affect you. You are also going to experience a high blood pressure. If maybe you are in front of someone who's very angry, you are going to feel the same. Emotions of those people that are going to affect you. This is part of your gift. Number two, you feel the presence of spirits and entities. If there is a, a spirit right, right next to you, you're going to feel it. Before you enter a room which has a spirit inside, you're going to feel it. And you'll also feel the type of, or, or maybe you're going to sense the type of spirit which is in there, whether it's a good spirit or a bad spirit. Number three, when bad things are about to happen, you sense them first. Whenever something bad is going to happen, you'll feel it, you'll sense it. If you are maybe in a car or in a taxi and then an accident is going to happen, maybe in the, in the next uh, 15 minutes or 20 minutes, you're going to sense it. So in most cases, if it is not you who's driving the car, you will tell the driver that, please, you need to slow down. Because something very bad is about to happen. If it is you who's driving the car, then you need to make sure that uh, maybe you, you reduce the speed and then you become vigilant. Do not, um, you know, um, maybe do not speed. Yes, don't do those things because an accident is going to happen. Even if it's not an accident, maybe someone in the family is going to die or someone is going to be hurt or um, maybe some people are going to break in, in, you know, in your home or in your neighbor's home. Those are the things that you're, gonna, you're going to, to sense them first before they can happen. So as a sentience person, what you need to do whenever you feel those things, please make sure that you pray. You, you, even if you're going to take action on them, but make sure that you also pray so that those things, they don't happen. If you have a feeling that some people will come and break into your house and steal your things, make sure that you check if your home is secured. If it is not, make sure that, you know, you make it secured, put on, um, and make, maybe call some guys to come and, uh, and install Bakra doors, bakra proofs, things like that. Or even install a camera, things like that. And if your home is not cleansed, make sure that you have it cleansed immediately. Okay, number four. Your mood seems to change constantly as a, res as a result of the environment you are in and the presence of other people that you are with. Um, This one I always like to give, you know, just... um the same example over and over again so that people can understand it. Let's say maybe you are in town, maybe you are at the bank. You see there are lots of people there. So as long as you're, you know, you're among lots of people, 
you know, uh, your, your moods will change from time to time. One minute you are happy, the other minute you are sad, the other minute um, you are angry. It goes like that and then it goes back to happy again. This is how you will be. And you are going to notice it by the way you'll be talking to other people. Like maybe someone ask, come and ask you a question. The way you're going to respond, then you, 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 you will understand your moods in that time. Maybe someone comes and asks a question and then you respond in a rude way. After some five, after five minutes, someone comes to you and asks you another a, a question as well. And then you, you know, you respond in a good way, you know, lovingly in a good way and with respect. This is how, um, you know, your, your moods change from time to time. It depends on the environment that you're with. If there's too much negative energy there, then you're going to feel angry. You're going to feel um, sad. And if um, there's lots of, you know, good energy, uh, positive energy then you're going to feel very very happy very happy this is how uh, you'll be affected as a, a sentience person number five you don't like being in the presence of people filled with negative energies people who are filled with negative energies you don't like them you don't like people who come to you and you know always say negative things people who like mocking other people you don't like those type of people you don't and you don't want to see themselves you know close to them because even if that person will just say, you know, a few things, you know, just one sentence, because these are negative people, they will always say negative things. That small thing, it is going to affect you. You'll find that even when you go back to, you go to sleep at night, it, it keeps on coming in your mind over and over and over again. And this can go, you know, uh, for a few days. Whenever you think about that person, or even if you don't think about that person, when you're sitting alone, it will just quickly come into your mind and whenever it comes into your, into your mind it makes you angry it makes you sad so you don't like negative people at all so i think to get rid of that you need to make sure that if like you you uh, you know this person always comes to you and this person is you know uh, is filled with too much negativity and this person keeps on saying negative things keep, keep, keeps on saying mocking uh, keep, keeps on mocking and saying negative things I think it's best that you tell this person that, hey, you need to stop. Or there are some people who will always come to you and what they always do, they, 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 they always gossip. Whenever they come to you, they always gossip about other people or, or they always say, you know, bad things about other people. You need to say to them, hey, you need to stop this. Because if you don't say this, remember this thing is always affecting you as a sentience person. Number six, you are very sensitive. You are a very sensitive person. You are a very sensitive person. Sometimes a person can come to you and make and just make silly jokes. That silly jokes is going to affect you because this is who you are. There are some things which you can try to prevent, but there are those that you can't try to prevent. You are sensitive. This is who you are. You'll never change that one. So the best thing is to make sure that you solve the problem from the bottom before it goes up or before it escalates. Like I said, if someone always uh, comes to you and say negative things or this person, whenever she calls you, she'll always, you know, um, okay, she'll start by being nice. And then as, as the, uh, as the conversation converse, and then what does she, 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 she do? Then she starts saying negative things. She starts mocking. She starts saying things which are going to hurt you. You need to tell this person that, hey, you need to stop doing that things. I don't like it when you do this thing. Or else you stop calling me. This is how you're going to solve it. Number seven, you don't like watching or listening to the news as you are affected by things uh, like wars, corruptions, and bad rulers. Those things, they always, you know, Impact, impact negatively on you. Like myself, I don't like watching uh, the news or I don't like listening to the news because all those corrupt leaders, well, all those things that they're doing, all those peaceful people who are like stealing from our government, it pisses me off. It really makes me very, very angry. So it affects me. Whenever I listen to the news after that, I'll be affected. And, you know, this thing will keep on coming over and over into my mind. 
and whenever it comes into my mind you know um it's, i feel very sad so as long as you're a transcendent person and if you you know you're affected by these things stay away from there okay number eight you can sense a bad person or a good person let's say you meet this person this is the first time that you're meeting this person immediately if this person is a very bad person if this person is very is, is doing negative things or if this person is practicing negative things and even witchcraft you will immediately know just by looking at this person you will immediately know you will know that this is a very bad person i must not mix myself with such people please stay away from this type of people okay number nine you trust your guts your feelings and your intuition whenever your intuition is talking to you you listen to it and you trust it if your intuition tells you not to go somewhere and you already you're prepared you're ready to go out there but it says to you hey don't go there you listen to it you don't go anymore if you, your your intuition says to you hey you know what don't touch that thing because there is something very bad or, 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 or there's a dangerous, there's something dangerous there which will bite you and it might kill you or something like that. Immediately, you stop. You don't touch that thing because your intuition has already told you. In, instead, you can get someone who will come and help you with that thing. Maybe to kill it, maybe let's say it's a snake or maybe something very bad. If your intuition says to you, hey, don't enter that door. Because behind that door, there's something very, very dangerous. Maybe a bad spirit which might try to possess you or something's not right in that room. Or maybe there are some people in that room in, or in that house, you know, who are like fighting or they're arguing. Their spirit or the, the energy is not good at the moment. Your intuition will say to you, hey, don't enter that house or don't, don't enter that door. Because behind that door, those people, they're not in a good mood. They're arguing as I'm speaking right now. So you're going to listen to it because you don't want to go there because that energy is going to affect you negatively. Okay. Number 11, you don't like being in crowds. You don't like being in crowds. Clasentious people, they don't like being in crowds. Even when you go to the bank or you go to the mall, shopping, wherever you're going, if there are lots of people, they're going to affect you. So you don't like being in, you know, in, in, in a place which, which is crowded. If you're forced to go there, you'll make sure that you, you'll make it a point that you go there and make things quickly. Do what you, you are there for. Maybe you are at the bank, you want to bank some money or you want to do something. Go there, you know, um, get the help that you're looking for. Immediately, as soon as you're done, you go back home. The sentence people, when they're going shopping, let's say they're going to buy their groceries, already they, they, they have their list. They know what they're going to buy. They'll go in that shop, buy as quickly as they can. When they're done, they're out. They go back home because this is where they like being. If you find that you are working in a place which is, you know, very crowded, maybe the company has lots of employees, you'll find that um, even if you know um, you're sharing offices, things like that, what you like most, you like to sit on your desk doing your job. You don't like being, you know, um, in crowds, you know, saying so many things. You don't like that. You like sitting on your desk. Lunchtime, most of the time, you are alone. Or even if you are with some colleagues, maybe two or three, not more than that, because this is who you are. Number 12, you hate long lanes you 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 need you i mean you hate queues you hate them so much if you go to the bank you find that the queue is too long most sentence people they will go back home they will be like ah, i'll come back tomorrow or, or, or i'll come back next week that's why you like um you know things like online banking cell phone banking because it saves you time because you you hate those long queues. If you are in a car, maybe you're driving or maybe you're not the driver, but there's too much traffic. You hate it so much. You don't like traffics. You hate it so much. So whenever you go shopping or you, 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 you want to take a trip, 
you'll make sure that you either go very early in the morning before there's too many cars on the on the road or you go a little bit late when you know that oh um there's few cars on the road this is who you are number 13 you feel the energy in buildings and rooms that energy you feel it if it is a good energy you're going to feel it if it is a bad energy you're going to feel it Number 14, you notice changes in temperatures. Immediately, you will know that it is going to be hot today without even looking at the, at the weather report. Immediately, you'll know that it is going to be very cold today. And especially when the presence of your spiritual guides, ancestors that are close to you, you'll experience this change in temperature. Number 14, you experience goosebumps, vibrations, and chills on your body whenever there's a spirit next to you. When your spiritual guides, your ancestors, they're next to you, you know, you'll have some, uh, you, you'll feel these slight vibrations on your body or even on your hair. Um, when there's another spirit which does not belong to your spiritual guides or your ancestors, Maybe a spirit of, um, maybe something that which we normally call a ghost. It's a roaming spirit, a spirit which is not at peace, a spirit which is suffering. You will immediately hear it. Thank you so much, guys. If you are at the sentience and you experience the followings, don't be surprised. If you are a spiritually gifted person and you were experiencing the followings and you didn't know why, Please know from today that you are a Tlesentience person. You have the Tlesentience gift. If you are a spiritual gifted person, you didn't know that you, ha you, you, you have a spiritual calling. You didn't know that you have a spiritual calling. After listening to this video today, you will know that you do have a spiritual gift and your gift to fall under the Tlesentience people. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for the love. Thank you for everything. Uh, continue subscribing, liking my page, hitting the, not the notification bell, and share this video with the people that you know that they will like it most. And for the comment, thank you so much, guys, for the comment, especially those lovely comments, you know, comments written with uh, lots of love, lots of respect. I really appreciate those things. I really do. And, you know, you make my spirit high. Thank you so much, guys, to those.